I was like a lot of regular dogs, born in a cardboard box in an alley. But my family hated me. I was the runt, the weakling, the weirdo. Honey, look, their first steps. <laughs> He's still learning, just not as fast as the rest of you. I was off to a bad start already, and it only got worse. Oh. Dinner time. Guys, wait for me. <laughs> no way, you stink. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to eat with them. Or play with them. Ooh, let me join. Nice job, Runt. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Or even sleep with them. And my siblings may have been bad, but my mom was the worst. Dog day, there's clearly no room. I'm small, I can fit. Believe me, we all know you're small. Find somewhere else to sleep. I don't know why she hated me. She's my mom. She was mean to me all the time, except when dad was around. Here you are, honey. Oh, thank you, dearie. Look, kids, let's all enjoy. But the main reason they hated me? What a cute bunch of puppies. Who would leave you behind? And this little one. Oh, he's the cutest of them all. I was so excited. Finally, I was the favorite. I must take you home. You're too tiny to defend yourself out here. Ah, fine, I understand. Family bonds and all that. Well, I can't take you all, so I'll have to settle for none. Great job, Runt! You ruined our chance at finding a home! You're just jealous he wanted me! Don't you talk that way to your brother! He started it! I am so tired of your back talk, you little freak! You don't belong in this family! You never did! But Mom, don't you love me? Get out! Sweetie... Mom? Don't talk back to me! Get out! I knew I'd never see my family again. And I didn't want to, but I had no idea how to fend for myself, all alone, and so tiny on the street. A whole meal? Just for me? I was so excited. This would keep my belly full for a long time. But in my heart, I knew it would feel best to share it with my family. Maybe then they'd change their mind. But it was too late. They'd abandoned me. They left me. I was stupid for coming back here. <laughs> ah, I got you. I was scared of where this man would take me. But I had nowhere else to go. At first, I was excited to be warm and dry. The place looked a little weird, but it couldn't be that bad. Good boy! Oh, you'll make the perfect specimen. I was young and naive. I had no idea what the CEO had in store for me. Good boy! Good boy! Arf, arf, arf! What's happening to me? Terrified. If my family hadn't abandoned me, none of this would have happened. I'll never forgive them. I understand, Dog Day. I'm sorry you went through that. I think it's best if you get out of here. <laughs>